Today's the biggest day. Today is D-Day, otherwise known as Decision Day. Today, both couples must decide whether to stay married or seek a divorce. So sitting here today in front of us, how do you feel about Shireen? In so many ways, she's my perfect match. Yeah. And that's kind of what I found yeah. the hardest of why we haven't better connected. Is it fair to say that you've wanted this to work with Shireen all along? Oh, God, yeah. I mean, I was, I mean, especially the wedding day. I mean, the wedding day was, it was, it was perfect. Breaks my heart a little bit when I think about it because that moment I was like, that's my wife. Mm -hmm. And I was proud and mm -hmm. happy. So, yeah, I was all in. When I look at why we were matched, and then I remember the wedding day and the intensity of the feelings, I kind of want to still be in it. And I think this is our problem. We're trapped in the honeymoon. We're trapped in those three or four conversations about lists, prepping. Right. Hmm. Then we just fall apart again. So for all the things we have in common, we rarely talked about them. We believe that you two are a good match. Yeah. The issue that you two are talking about can be resolved. Mm. What you are talking about, the fact that you're not curious enough and you need to work on your communication, if that is it, mm. That could be resolved. That gets resolved every day. Absolutely. So, David, would you like to remain married to Shireen? No, there's no... You know, I'd love to be saying something different, but... We go back to the honeymoon every time we meet, unfortunately. Thank you. Shireen, would you like to remain married to David? No. Do you think there's any way you could be friends and leave this process and stay in touch and, and, and still have some sort of friendship? I don't have any resentment or anger or bitterness or anything towards David. However, the reality of it is I, I can't see it happening. But there's definitely no negative, any kind of negative feelings or energy towards you. Well, lady and gentlemen, thank you. It's the end of our journey and it is what it is. It's, you know, it's sad. Of course it's sad. My first thought was to lock myself away, uh, but then I thought, you know what? I've come out of this surprisingly upbeat, actually, considering my heart's been trampled into a thousand pieces. They've done such a good job. I weirdly probably would be crazy enough to do it again because I think of generally I'm a bit of a better person from it.